Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Flash O-Day and more patches. Before I start, so I'm doing yet another day of patching and security update videos, but what can I say when it rains, it pours. Let's start by mentioning two out of cycle updates, both from Microsoft and from Adobe. Even though we already had patch day this week, Adobe promised to release an additional Flash update, which they did today. More importantly, besides fixing a lot of Flash vulnerabilities, the update also fixes one flash flaw that attackers are already exploiting in the wild. Long story short, if you use Adobe Flash, I highly recommend you get that update as soon as you can. On top of that, Microsoft also released an out of cycle flash update for a number of components that they have which automatically ship with Flash. So you might have to get that Microsoft update as well. Since we're already talking about patches, there's two other significant updates you might want to think about. First, if you're a Firefox user, Mozilla released Firefox 45, which fixes a ton of vulnerabilities, 40 different vulnerabilities of which I think 22 were rated critical. Many of these vulnerabilities allow remote code execution, so they're the types of uh, flaws that bad guys would use in drive-by download attacks. So hopefully you already have Firefox set to automatically get updates, but whether or not you do, you definitely want to get this latest Firefox update. Finally, if there's any users out there that actually have a Cisco device for their cable modem, one that maybe your ISP gave you, Today, Cisco warned that there were a number of vulnerabilities in some of their home gateway and consumer cable modem devices. Without going into a ton of detail, it's a pretty serious vulnerability where an unauthenticated attacker can actually get full access to the web administrative portal of this actual device and gain full control of your home cable modem, which is your main routing device. Now, in most cases, your ISP probably gave you this, so it's them who control the firmware updates, but if you do have a Cisco cable modem from your ISP, you might want to contact them and make sure they get Cisco's latest update. In any case, if you use any of these products, you definitely want to go see about getting updates as soon as you can, and especially Flash, since bad guys are already exploiting that flaw in the wild, it's the one you want to patch most quickly. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.